Yo, welcome to another episode of Weekly Waste Man. Thanks for clicking the thumbnail and can I please ask that you hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to receive all notifications. Right, now let's get into this. So this week's show is about none other than that annoying, tight, five pies not one, piece of shit, fat cockney bastard, Mike Ashley. And before I start with the top five of the most ridiculous stuff that that waste of spunk in his lifetime has ever managed to achieve, I just want to say that picking only five has been harder to do than it is for that fat bastard Mike to fit into a triple X Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. So going in reverse order, we've got number five. So as you all know, the entire world is in the middle of a global pandemic right now the likes of which that have not been seen since series two of The Walking Dead. There's people dying everywhere, businesses are closing down, and then you've got that fat cockney bastard begging the UK government to stay open. Come on, Mike, do you really think Sports Direct is on people's priority list right now? I mean, can you even imagine it? It'd be like, yo, Barbara, I don't know what we're gonna do, man. Not only have we run out of hand sanitizer and shit paper, but now I've gone and dropped mustard on my last ever last t-shirt. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. So for that, you go in the list at number five. Yeah, so now it's number four and it's actually Sports Direct itself. Where do I even begin? Well, your clothes are fucking shit, bro. For a start, I am fully convinced that this cunt pays another cunt to undo all the stitching on what was once a perfectly healthy bunch of garments. Tacky and horrible garments granted, but still healthy until this absolute waste man got hold of them. Yo, where the fuck do you even manage to find such a horrible catalogue of items anyway? Which firstly, never seem to fit properly, and secondly, they seem to make you look like you just stepped off the set of an Arte Brothers music video shoot. Bro, them Everlast tracksuits are fucking rancid and your collection of old man's garden trainers are, although in some weird kind of way, impressive. However, no cunt is actually buying them. So anyway, that's time to take it to number three. So anyway, number three is actually something that's pretty close to my own heart. And I'm gonna have to be honest with you, it's probably the reason why I'm sat here now talking to you about this massive failure. So let's take it back to the 23rd of May 2007 when the word came through that Mike Ashley had brought out Newcastle United by purchasing Sir John Hall's 41.6% for 55 million. Now at the time there was actually quite a lot of excitement surrounding the move amongst myself and the rest of the Newcastle fans who had actually been promised the world which inevitably turned out to be a massive crock of sports direct horseshit. From appointing Dennis Wise as director of football to renaming our beloved stadium to the Sports Direct Arena at St James's Park. If only temporarily, it was enough to piss off the Geordie faithful and lose their trust which he never actually managed to regain. He went on from there to hold on to transfer funds harder than Katie Price has been holding on to being a Z-list celebrity for years. And this has been going on for far too long now. Mike, you're a fucking waste man. So from myself, the rest of the Newcastle fans, and if I'm being perfectly honest with you, probably the rest of the football world in general, fuck off. So now, let's get on to number two. Now this is probably going to surprise a lot of you that this is only at number two, but when we get to number one, you're going to understand why. So number two is Mike's penchant for slave labour. Yeah, that's right, not so long ago, reports came out from the staff at Sports Direct who were accusing him of slave labour, which you might not even think is possible in this day and age, but what you're actually forgetting in this scenario is that this is Mike bleeding Ashley. Now when this pen is to be pinched, this fat cunt takes the biscuit and the cake and the rest of the whole bloody banquet. So as it turned out, what he was doing is he was making his staff work all the way to the clock and then dial out, meaning that by the time that these poor cunts had managed to leave the shop floor, they'd been working extra time. So once you take that free time away from his measly minimum wage offerings, it was actually slave labour. They were working below minimum wage. 
So when you actually had all of that time that that snaky little tosser was stealing from people, in effect, he was actually saving millions in labour. So seriously, this man should not be allowed to exist in the business world. Why is he not even locked up in a cell, I might ask? Can you imagine him ironing old skid mark stained wire front to pass by his days in a jail cell? Let him fucking rot, that's what I say. So anyway, we finally got all the way to number one. And you remember earlier when I said you'll understand when we get to number one why that was at number two, the slave labour thing. Well, here's number one. And this isn't something that he had any control over, but number one is the birth of Mike Ashley. That's right. This is a classic case of a man whose mother should have swallowed. So the reason his birth isn't number one is because if that hadn't have happened, then the previous four things on the list never would have happened either. So Mike, please do us all a favour and fuck off out of Newcastle United Football Club. Pick up your Sports Direct brand, call Elon Musk and see if he's got room on one of those little fucking rockets. So thanks to everybody for watching the show. Thank you to the new subscribers. Your support helps with the channel to grow. And to anybody who has not yet subscribed, please do so and hit the bell for notifications for every upload that we have. Drop us a comment letting us know what you think and click the like button. I know that's a lot to ask, but it really does help us out. Thank you very much once again. My name is Blunt Ted and I'll see you all on the next show. <laughs> doing what the Geordies do best. Is he in a rush? Is he on a on a race there? <laughs>